Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be doing more with strings. We're actually going to be importing a module and we're going to be learning a little bit more about what's happening in the background but we're going to we're going to be dealing with strings a little bit more here because there is a lot a lot that we can we can do with it. So, let's just get started. So, all right. Let's say we have we need to do something with the alphabet and we need to check test do whatever so all right i'm already tired of typing right here right so letters so on we'd have to sit and type all them in well actually python has already done a great deal for us so import string run that save it type in dir string lo and behold look at all this stuff right here so now let's say I don't want to type in all the letters when everybody look right here copy Paste because I'm lazy, don't want to type. Oh, and that's pronounced ASCII. We're actually going to do a little bit more on that here in the near future. ASCII. That's uh, computer for digits and characters when you press a key and it stands for something. So, but that's ASCII. We'll do more later. So, so, all right. Letters. Helps if I type string. I should have copied that. <laughs> should have not copied that right. Okay, so now let's type in letters. So look what Python did. Has all the letters, literally all of them. But uh-oh, has capital in here. I don't want capital. Let's just do lower. Lower. So string, let's see if I type string correctly. And then right here. Boom. Run that. Now we do lower. What do you think is going to happen? Just the letters, the lowercase letters, all 26 of the letters in lowercase form. So now you can do uppercase, cap words, um, hex digits. That's really starting to get into ooh, a little bit more complicated, but uh, you can do uppercase and then the, the, the digits as well. But all right let's let's delve a little bit into this right here so I'm saying import this module and if you look right here the reason why I have this typed out is I'm going to show you where this resides in your computer I'm going to show you two different ways to do it so all right we're importing a file that's already somewhere on your computer and it's a Python file all files in Python are saved with py just the extension so it knows to use the Python shell. So, all right. So, we can go to open. It's going to go to where you are. And then we're going to go to LIB, short for library. And look at all these things. These are all the files that Python's already written. The, uh, the developers of Python have already written for us. But string. Uh, oops, if... There it is, right here. So if I double click this, it'll open. So that this is one way to do it. Now I'll show you the other way. What I call this? A, a module or a library, right? Well, look right here. Open module. So string. Boom. Let me get this here so you can see it. So this is the Python file right there. String, just like I did right here that is already written for us and it has all these rules so look right here these look familiar these are our variables that somebody's already written for us and then they took look what they did here you guys recognize that you know what that means it says take that add this then you get all the letters so they didn't sit here and do the capital and the lowercase they did one and then they did it again and here are the digits and then here is here are all the rules here are the functions that are written but this is a little touch and a little cheat on how to mess with 
strings so you don't have to type everything in to get all your letters and then also so you can really start to understand what's going on in the background what's already on your computer and where you can go and poke around because when we start going and downloading other libraries you're going to need to know where they're saved and how they're saved because sometimes they don't save where we want them to and we got to force them and move them so well that's strings and the string module so and a little touch on ASCII we'll do more of that later so don't forget to click that like button and that subscribe button and uh, please leave any comments below any questions comments concerns uh, anything that I may have gone over uh, too quickly and you need me to expand upon or something that I haven't touched yet and you'd like me to go over so thanks for watching hope you guys are getting something out of this and we'll see you next time thanks guys